Hi Cancer, welcome to the channel. Thank you so much for being here. Let me just fix this so you can see more of the table. <laughs> All right, so just pulled for the weekend, okay? This is supposed to be a quickie. Take what resonates, leave the rest. This could be for any of the placements if you're coming over for somewhere else. Um, I also see Jupiter placement here, so you might want to go check that, okay? Um, first card that came out is square. Creates restrictions, obstacles, pressure. Power struggles, demands, motivates, confrontation, and resistance. I'm like, oop, okay, what's going on? But listen to the guidance as your soul also came out with it. So I have a feeling you'll be able to sense your way through whatever conflict this may be with whomever it is, okay? Um, it may be, and temptation to come out, it may be something trying to test you, okay? Um, then we had... V, as in for victory in some endeavor, the letter V might be significant as well for you, okay? That might be like an initial or something. You have older woman dealing with, in a relation or relationship with an older woman, okay? Doesn't have to be a super old lady like pictured, but could be, all right? You could be a young person, and this could be someone that's like a couple years older than you. They're just older than you, right? An older woman. Apple, temptation will test you. And marriage. Now, you could be married to this person, or this person could be married, or you could be married, and that's what the temptation is. Maybe they're temptation, you're tempting you with something, okay? You also have Jupiter, Abundance, number seven, and Void, of course, Moon, missing, again, with 52 and seven. So you are protected through this, okay? So sevens are going to be hugely significant. It might be a synchronicity for you at this time. Uh, seven might be a life path number or something like that, okay? Immediately, I thought of, okay, there's some sort of poverty mindset, maybe, or maybe there's someone's broke. There's some sort of poverty going on here with missing and abundance. Um, abundance can also be joy, so that's why I thought poverty mindset, okay? Maybe there's like a lacking of some kind of happiness and joy in a situation. To identify the older woman, you have children, higher education, so basically completed undergrad, graduate kind of education, even vocational, all right? And sacred partnership or twin flame, okay? I was like, okay, well, it could go either way. This could be a high-level soulmate, a divine counterpart. Um, doesn't have to be romantic. It could actually be family. And as, as it turns out, the family card did show up. So um, this could be like a grandmother or an aunt or something, okay, um, who happens to be married. They have kids, okay? And they have – there's some temptation here, all right? Uh, to identify, also, we have Leo, Pisces, and Taurus here. You're the rooster. You're the monkey. You're the monkey twice. Okay, so that might be really significant for someone in this situation with her. Seven of Pentacles energy, which means investment. Two of Wands, deciding what to do. And Nine of Swords, being all up in the head about it. Okay. So maybe they're an investor. Maybe there's someone in a family situation that wants to spend their money someplace and invest it somewhere, but they're worried about what would be a best choice, right? You also have snake, panther, and tiger here as well. Those could be identifiers. Year of, uh, year of snake and year of tiger are in the Chinese zodiac. I can remember. And I forget who has the big cat panther. Okay. Um, I have... As soon as I pulled on gift, a lot of money, and living room, which is the family card in this deck, I immediately thought inheritance, looking at all three cards together. This could also be a timing of the next gift-giving holiday, birthday, anniversary holiday, okay, or a significant time. A lot of money could also just be that abundance energy as well, uh, some little thing that makes you happy. But family room. Maybe it's going to be given in the family room. So literally speaking, this could be a gift of actual cash in a family room. Like everyone's hanging out together and they give you a present and it's, it's filled with it. It's, a, it's an envelope with a big fat check, okay? <laughs> Something like that, okay? <laughs> or I don't, who knows, stocks and bonds, okay? In my family, that's what the U.S. savings bonds was big because, you know, everybody was greatest generation. So if you're dealing with the greatest generation, it could be something like that. You also have the numbers 17, 11, and 21 here. And those could be ages of somebody uh, or identifying birth dates. All right. You also have 8. It breaks down to an 8, 2, and 3. So you also have the months of Leo. <laughs> oh, my God. 
goodness, Pisces and um, who else is in February? Aquarius, okay. Um, Leo Virgo, I think also, I think. And March, oh shoot, March, 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 March. Oh, Pisces, Aries, okay. <laughs> so when I asked about the square here, this energy, the Nine of Pentacles wanted to come up in the reverse. Eight of Cups, uh, Nine of Pentacles, Eight of Cups, and Three of Cups. So this really tells me maybe there's a little bit of insecurity going on that's stemming from this. That's what the restriction is, is really just this feeling of not feeling good enough to give or receive or whatever this is, whoever is on what side of the fence. That needs to move on towards, you know, this happiness, this reconciliation, celebratory energy. There could be some sort of party. This could be a birthday party. I could see that as well. <clears throat> to clarify, the older woman as well, we had visions pop up. So I'm like, it could very well be a twin flame connection and a family situation. That is a thing. And you might be seeing them in your dreams all the time. If it's a person you dream about constantly, more than likely, it might be that kind of connection. Okay. Um, time unknown. I know that got tucked under there. And co-parenting. I get the feeling that maybe you'll see more of the situation as it unfolds. Um, I get the feeling they do want to assist, okay, whatever this lack is in some way, but they're just unsure how or why or what. Um, it could be because they've got a lot of oblig obligations with the co-parenting card here, all right, in their marriage. Um, it could be maybe they might have some addictions or something, whatever this temptation is about, right, like that's distracting that energy. But there's going to be victory in this, all right? It's just you won't know when, okay? Uh, so pay attention to your dreams and your visions. Your, you know, those psychic pings will kind of give you a clue as to what's going on here, okay, for you. There is joy. There is flattery with the cat here and definitely happiness and popularity. So there will be victory. There might be some recognition too. 39 breaks down to a 12, which breaks down to a 3. 36 breaks down to a 9. And 1 for new beginnings. So I definitely see that here. Um, they may be just worried as well. They may see your situation and think you don't need it, right? Like maybe you look like you got it all together or something, right? Or maybe they don't know where to place the investment, right? Because they're not sure what you're doing, okay? So I had a hard time trying to figure out which decks to use, so we just started with the basics. The lesson of the situation, health. I will honor the physical vessel that enshrines my soul. So maybe there's things about your health you want to work on, okay? Well, an apple a day does keep a doctor away. <laughs> so maybe they're working on their health too, or, you know, maybe you might need to reflect this energy. You know, you might be mirroring each other too. This, this is your twin flame, and there might be a little bit of opposition with that because it seems a little out of alignment. Getting your health all in together, and that includes your social health, your mental health, your physical health. Get everything in alignment, okay? Uh, work on any health, tangible, physical body issues that you might have. This would be a good time to do it, okay? You also had feelings. This is all about your clear sentience. It's also about your clear cognizance. It's also about your clear voyance. It's all about your clairs. Using your discernment and intuition to see, okay? You might need to fine-tune your clairs at this time, all right? And really kind of pay attention to what's going on all over the place for you. You also have Find Your Voice, very much a throat chakra card. Express yourself, open up, and sing out. So maybe you've been introverted about your needs. That could be. Um, and this is a good time to vocalize the things that are going on in your life that you're excited about or that you would like to do or that, you know, that, you know, you think might help your health, okay? And who knows, it might give somebody a birthday gift idea, okay? Number 10, Sacral Chakra. Definitely sensing that here as well. You also have the green with that health card for your heart chakra as well. Creativity, okay? So finding things to get uh, creative with, all right? Creative pursuits, all right? You also have you're on the right path. Keep doing what you're doing. So whatever it is that you really love doing right now, keep doing it. That's part of it. It's working. Something having to do with animals. You might be an animal empath. Uh, you understand animals and commute with 
communicate with them intuitively, trust your inner guidance as the animals are part of your life's work. So there may be something having to do with animals. You also have study, reading, research, education, help you gain confidence and clarity about whatever project. It could be a career for you too, especially if you're feeling broke, right? You might be needing to find a job um, to fill in whatever financial gap, right? This might give you an idea of where to go, okay? You also have Lord Ganesh here, infinite abundance. Obstacles are being removed. Spiritual support and connections are increasing. Ganesh also places obstacles as well as removing them it's a way to direct your path to where you need to go okay so some of these aspects may have a lot to do with it just know that you're being guided in the right direction guided here okay you also have freya there is a beginning within every ending so wherever you're whatever's ending in your life don't hold on to it you've got some beginning coming and you will have those illusions are revealed and released. So definitely pay attention to your clairs, okay? Your final guidance. Oh, no, wait. I forgot these two little cards here. <laughs> Work your life. Yes, just say yes. So opportunities may be coming forward. You might have three or more. I definitely see that again with the three of cups too that are very celebratory and definitely a yes answer. Go for it, okay? You also have awakening here, energetic upgrades, a new way of being and integration. Okay. And definitely with all this Claire kind of thing going on, especially with balancing all your chakras and stuff, I'm definitely sensing that, yeah, this is definitely next level for you in this process. And it's just one more layer being unraveled or unpeeled, I guess, if it's an onion, right? Your final guidance is card number six, creation, all about birthing new ideas and new beginnings, okay? Through the darkness I crossed, and still I found myself in the presence of light. So it's definitely somewhere in this tangible, okay? You're going to find it out there, right? So if you've been more introverted about things and unsure what to do, go outside. <laughs> go explore, okay? That's and feel your way through it. There may be opportunities out there that will be made screaming obvious in your face, right? That'll just feel right. It'll feel right, okay? And you'll know that that's a path that you can take. And then maybe you being in that energy may magnetize this situation better, right? They may be feeling stuck and stagnant and introverted, right? And that's why they're not coming forward with something, all right? They may be tempted to stay inside. That could be, introversion could be a temptation too. And this may be testing that a little bit for you at this time, all right? But you do have time unknown, so don't feel rushed, okay? <laughs> Take your time. You know, they might be stuck in a situation where they've got so much to focus on, okay? It may take a while. They may have young children or something, or... Um, or they could be focused on children in higher education at the moment. Like they're trying to pay for their kids' college education. That could be a thing, okay? All right, there you go, Cancer. Hopefully that helps. Have a good one. Bye.